welcome to this brand new show. If you have any queries on what to study or where or need help as you apply for your dream job, look no further. If you are young and have an idea or an innovation that you believe all of India must know about, well, reach out to us. You can tweet us, email us or even get in touch with us on our NDTV social page. And now our one of our big focuses this evening. In a country like India with so much sunlight, it is a real pity we barely harness any of it. But as our energy needs grow, it's perhaps inevitable that this source of power and energy will be tapped more and more in the days to come. If you, like me, have been hoping to make the switch to solar power but didn't know where to start, look no further. This is Everything Solar Under One Roof, courtesy two friends from IIM Kodi Code. For a power-hungry country like India, it could soon be the sun god to the rescue. With a severe shortage of electricity every year in our big cities, it's perhaps inevitable that solar energy would be in focus. But while you may be keen on harnessing the sun's energy, how does one go about it? Welcome to Sun Bazaar, your one-stop shop for everything solar. The company was started by Kumar Gaurav and Samar Twadva in 2013. They got the ambitious idea of making their mark in the solar industry in India when they were both students at IIM Khorikod. It all started uh, during a first year course of strategic management uh, when our uh, strategic management professor, Mr. Mahesh Bhave, he was doing, uh, helping us you know, do a case study on first solar. So myself and Samad were in two different groups and the entire class had a very intriguing discussion on it. Uh, but myself and Samad carried out, uh, for, you know, further it after the class. So, and after that, both of us decided that, you know, we should make a plan out of it, uh, try and do something in solar. Sun Bazaar was founded by the duo with the aim to transform the solar energy industry in India, making it most customer-centric. They aim to make this change through a variety of services they provide. One is an online solar store which has a variety of solar products from different manufacturers. The company also connects the who's who of the industry through their marketplace where solar industry players can come together. The other is the eBiz platform. So the eBiz part is something through which we are trying to revolutionize or make it more efficient in the buying and selling process within this industry. This eBiz platform helps solar product buyers as they compare and evaluate the different products from different companies. Solar product sellers and manufacturers can benefit as they can keep abreast with the latest trade news, information and find new customers. See the basic challenge that we needed to address was that despite everyone knowing that solar energy is good, it's beneficial, it's clean energy and it is, prob it is poised to be the energy for the future. The acceptance of solar energy in households and you know, in the custom, average customer's mindset, it's not there. So that was the main challenge that we are tackling even right now because to create that awareness, if I go on the streets or if I just talk to someone even in my, at my college or in my colony, I ask them, how many solar manufacturers do you know? They would not know many. Sun Bazaar also manufactures solar lanterns of their own which they sell in bulk to NGOs and groups working in rural and underdeveloped areas all over the country. Electricity-hungry India is changing the way it thinks. Since 2010, the country has hiked installed solar power capacity from 17.8 megawatts to more than 2,000 megawatts in 2013. So, imagine the future. If you want to be part of this change and use solar power, Sun Bazaar could help you out. With camera person Mohammad Arif and Kriti Mathur, Sharon Alex, NDTV. And in fact, uh, Samarth Badwa now joins us in the studio. Samarth, thanks very much for coming in. It's, it's, it's quite a story. The turning point clearly is that inspiration provided by the professor. You exactly. have a lot to thank him for, clearly. Surely. Uh, it was the entire concept of Sun Bazaar came during that class. Uh, we all of our friends started discussing together as in even though people know about solar energy mm. it is still not penetrated in India to that extent mm. and then we came down and tackled the issue that accessibility and convenience mm. so these are two things that customers don't know plus the fact that solar has been a B2B industry mm. and there is absolutely no B2C facing marketing or anything done by solar industry. You industries. need to unjargonize this what is B2B okay. and what is B2C? So solar is uh, business to business industry 
uh, it used to work on tenders that were supported by the government. I see. But now the private sector is growing. Customers are getting aware of the need of solar energy and how it is beneficial to them. Hmm. Uh, now the need is to shift the emphasis from just tendering and dealing within the industry right. to focus on the end customer. Right. And for that, they're eventually going to use, use the product. The product. Right. Exactly. Yeah. In rural areas, the the customers, uh, the end customer is getting solar energy and benefits from that because of the government because they are doing the installations and everything. Right. Uh, but in the private sector, yeah. customers need to know about these products right. and these companies. Right. You know, and then only they'll approach them. Exactly. Now, the fact that you know you studied in IIM, that's where you got this idea from. So, how, how much of what you are today has been shaped by your years at uh, at the IIM? See, uh, whatever we did and the entire idea that we had, we all owe it to IIM Kodi Code. The fact that it shaped us to be prepared for setbacks as well, hmm. uh, to take the extra push pressure hmm. and the burdens of starting your own venture, hmm. it was all, it, all credits go to my alma mater right. for that. Plus, during the two years, we were had undergone through so much rigorous hmm. you know, training, courses hmm. and everything. That you were just... That we are okay with the concept right. that yes, this is something we can do. Right. Now, you know, you are saying this is okay with the concept is something we can do. But there are lots of people out there who would say, I am Gaya and then this is what he did. Did you face that? Or there were there people who looked at you and said, this, are you sure you want to do this? Like, this happens? So obviously, questions were there when there we were? told our parents and our friends that this is something that we want to do. Huh. Uh, then how do you work around it? Initially, they were apprehensive. Hmm. But then they knew that there is nothing that could stop us from doing it. And hmm. there was no way they could change our minds. Hmm. They thought, okay, let's go ahead with it. Hmm. Uh, the fact that I come from a business background, hmm. uh, it meant a lot to me and my father because he supported me in what I'm trying to do. Right. Though he also has his own business hmm. and there was no pressure for me to you know, join his business straight away. Hmm. Hmm. So the, I got a lot of support from my family. Similarly for Kumar also, hmm. he, had a, he had some tough time convincing his parents. Hmm. But then once they knew that the professor is with us, there is a market hmm. and they basically knew that you are too stubborn to listen to them. Hmm. So they said, okay, right. uh, you can Too go stubborn. ahead. Too stubborn. So if there's one, one area perhaps where the, or one instance where the stubbornness sort of, you could put it to sure. good use. Sure. You know, I would imagine the biggest challenge would be that India really hasn't woken up to solar the way it ought to have in this day and age where, you know, alternate energy is just the big focus globally. What's holding us back? See, it's basically the customer's mindset. Hmm. Uh, solar has an upfront investment cost which customers don't want to pay. There are mechanisms, financing schemes, etc. that are in place mm. and they are trying to work this entire issue out. Mm. But the main fact is that uh, solar is not being able to pitch at the customer's price point. Right. If I give an example, people would go and buy an iPhone at 65,000 rupees. Mm. So they know they can spend that kind of money. Mm. But for that amount of money, they can equally install some sort of a solar but that doesn't power pack. Figure. But that is not happening. Figure. And you're, Are you going to be changing this We scenario? are trying to change that because right. we are giving them a discovery platform where they right. can come and explore products, hmm. uh, look at different price points hmm. of different companies hmm. and then get in touch with us and we'll provide the end-to-end -end service. Right. So we'll just not an e-commerce company delivering products. We'll right. do the installation and as well as the maintenance. Right. Plus we are open to any queries that any customer might have regarding solar. Right. Because as I said, solar still is a grey area. Hmm. People know about it from you know a superficial point of view it's good right. and everything they know but of it from a distance uh, exactly but, but the nitty gritties they are not aware of right, right. we are hoping to change that but Samar thanks very much for coming in and taking time on and all the best with this venture let's hope that India sort of does uh, adopt social sure. solar energy I beg your pardon adopt uh, solar energy in this big fashion it could of course change uh, our energy sure. scenario sure. entirely thanks, thanks very so much uh, and all thanks the very so best Time now for a quick break. Coming up after that, do foreign languages interest you? Well, we'll try and find out if there's a fit for you there.